So this influencer cried racism and the internet is just not having it. So this woman wanted to shoot a music video and she decided to do so in a Target for some reason. But like all good influencers, she didn't get permission. Okay, none of this is surprising. Like, of course you can't film a full music video with like a dozen background dancers in the middle of a department store. I don't know why anyone would think otherwise. But then, then, one of the dancers drops this gem. If we all just start and multiple people record, they can't block it. Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure, just, you know, don't don't bother stopping when they ask you to stop, you st I mean, this nonsense might work in Target, but don't you dare try that shit in Waffle House. Like, we've all seen people do TikTok dances in stores, and it's just like, alright, that's annoying, but whatever. But listen to how disruptive this group was being. <laughs> Yeah, of course Target employees are gonna react. But if you followed the story when it came out, you know it gets much worse. After the group was kicked out, the influencer posts snippets of her video on TikTok with the caption calling the Target employee racist. Now, I'm not the f***ing messiah of what is or isn't racist, so, you know, forgive my blind spots. But I didn't see any comments or any mentions of race anywhere in the video or even anything that hinted at that. I only saw the guy asking them to leave and saying it was a safety concern. Coming to safety <laughs> So of course, in reaction to that, the internet just starts destroying this woman. That employee did nothing wrong! You're misusing the race card! Your song sounds like Jabba the Hutt took a sh directly into my ear canal! <laughs> yeah, and they're obviously very upset because the woman comes across as very entitled. But she continued to defend herself. You called the police on us before we walked into the building for based off what? Like, obviously based off what we look like. Like, there's no other reason. Like, we've all seen flash bombs. Yeah, we've also seen a million prank videos set in department stores. We've seen stores call the police on, like, one annoying white kid prankster who's just bothering people. And what, they're supposed to let this slide? The city is afraid of Shut the hell up! This could have been such an easy situation to remedy if they had just called the store beforehand and asked for permission. Target has a policy posted online for that very thing. Or another option is, you know, shoot the video outside. There's nothing glamorous or music video worthy about the interior of Target anyway. Anyway, after all this backlash, I hope she learned her lesson.